What is the best way to beat the cold? Turn up the heat, of course, and maybe drink some hot cocoa. But home heating costs cost big money. Ebru's Tasmin Mafuz joins us live now with a look at natural gas and why it could be a better option for our pocketbooks and the planet. Tasmin. Logan, let me tell you, it is not getting any warmer out here. I know as soon as I get home, I'm definitely turning the heater on. But here's a situation. Uh, oils and heating, propane, all these things are definitely skyrocketing. It's rising big. And the people that I talked to today, they say that they're desperately trying to find ways to save on their heating bill. It's freezing outside, and Americans are using a ton of heat to stay warm. I'm using natural gas. And the average bill now during the winter time is about $500 a month. Renee lives in a 2,400 square foot home. She found that heating oil is the costliest. Always had oil heat, and oil heat decided to go way up. And I said, all right, I purchased a wood stove. Renee was paying $3,000 a year for oil, and the switch saved her big. 3,000 as opposed to maybe two or 500. That's quite a bit. That's 2,500. <laughs> The average home has four options, heating oil, natural gas, electricity, and propane. For the average Northeast homeowner, oil costs over $2,500, propane roughly $2,300, electricity at $1,300, and natural gas at $1,000. Well, I have gas and I have uh, some solar, but normally if I didn't have any solar, just using gas would run me probably like 12 to 1300 a month so I save about $300 a month now with the combination of both and you know particularly Dan Lockwood you know, of South Jersey gas more, says natural gas is now, the most cost effective uh, and the average uh, residential customer uh, uses approximately 100 therms of natural gas per month natural gas customers are saving approximately 65 to 70 percent if you compare natural gas prices to oil home heating oil our customers are saving approximately 60 percent so for those that are heating with electricity it could be upwards of about 70 percent so whether you use natural gas or solar heat here's how you can save energy and some green lower your thermostat keep it between 65 and 70 degrees reduce air leaks by sealing holes and cracks around windows and doors Lower the hot water heater to 120 degrees. A lot of folks, you know, don't really realize that if you keep your hot water heater turned up really high, uh, that'll increase your energy bills. And keep warm air inside by closing off rooms and vents that you're not using. And Logan, it's so cold out here, I can hardly move my lips. But here's another tip. When you're out of your home, you can lower your thermostat to about 58 degrees. You'll definitely save a few on that. And another thing that you saw in the video, solar panel heating. It's a new trend that's out. And even though installation is a little pricey, you'll definitely save big in the long run. Back to you. All right, Tasmin Mafuz reporting live tonight with some tips on heating your home, saving the planet, and perhaps saving some cash as well. Thanks so much for that report.